Hey there, this is James from Isotropic, and in this video I want to show you a neat plugin uh, that allows you to share logins between multiple WordPress websites. And what this uh, really does, and it does it automatically and it does it well, is uh, when a user logs in or registers on one site, it can share that registration across two or more websites. Uh, so, for example, if somebody logged into one website in a network and there was another website in a network, uh, you could have them automatically be registered and then their login, uh, their login cookie shared through both websites, so they would be logged into both websites after registering on one or logging in on one. They wouldn't need to re-log in and make two accounts. And as you can see, uh, as you can think about, uh, this is a a fairly useful tool if you have multiple websites under a single network. So say you run a media network, you have a website for a podcast, you have a website for a blog, uh, the user registers on the blog website uh, and to access content on another website they need to log in. You could have them log in on one place, uh, just like that. It's kind of like single sign-on, uh, except it is only between two WordPress websites, two or more WordPress websites. So as you can see, logins are shared, logouts are shared, create user, update profile, password reset, delete user. Uh, it works well, it's easy to use, and it works with multi-site. Uh, and there is a free version, except it won't allow you to share some things, so you're gonna want to get the paid version. And uh, it costs around $49 per year. Uh, for the professional plan, it costs $99, and as you can see, uh, 49 is for two sites, 99 is for five sites, and um, we are an existing user, and we use this on our website, so I wanted to share how we use it, uh, and then go into the back end of the plugin and show you around. So, we have a website here, Elementor QA, people ask and answer questions about Elementor. And as you can see, uh, we have a user registration and a user sign-in. And then we also have a courses website under the same brand, courses.elementorqa. It's a different WordPress installation. And here's a course, and you register for the course, and then you get the course. As you can see, two websites, we want to share login from one website to another. Uh, so if somebody registers or logs in here, we want them to be logged in here. If somebody registers or logs in here, uh, we want them to be logged into this website. You can do that with single sign-on. Uh, you can also share database credentials, except that uh, method is a little bit difficult, works on a single server, uh, and is fairly limited. So this solution worked for us and it works really well so I'm going to show you the back end of the plugin now so it's very similar to the uh, the free version of the plugin except for the features and functionality as it you get so as you can see we're on the courses.elementorqa website uh, and then we've connected it via this this uh, field right here to our main website. Then as you can see, uh, we've selected everything. When somebody logs in, logs out, creates a user, updates their user, resets the password, deletes the user, everything is synced across the sites, incoming and outgoing. So if they do it on one of the two sites, anything, it will be pushed to the other site. Uh, then it basically allows you to uh, check and see if everything is working it'll give you check marks if everything's working um, and then I mean it's it's a fairly simple plugin you just need to install it on both sites install your license key uh, go to remote sites add add your remote site check everything off and then validate it that's really how it works there's no additional setup uh, you can add some more settings here um, so for example if your password field is different uh, custom meta can be shared across the websites. So we have LearnDash. Uh, we can share LearnDash across all the websites. And then uh, you, you can show your security settings here and use it to connect to the other one if it's not working. Uh, I'm going to have to blur these in the 
post-processing. And you can also migrate your users between websites, so export, import users. Say you are implementing this solution on two already existing websites, you can share all the users uh, and make sure everybody's up to date, all the user accounts are up to date between the two websites. Uh, that's really what this plugin is. It's a very simple and easy to use plugin that adds a big and well needed functionality for some people. Uh, as I said before, if you have a website that you need to uh, share logins with another website with, and this could be very helpful if you have a network, um, Share Logins Pro is a great, great tool out there and uh, it'll be linked in the description below. I hope that video helped show you the share users and login plugin, uh, gave you a walkthrough of the back end, introduced the features. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below.